going to make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children were in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. It's time for Eric Plays XCOM Enemy Within, episode 37. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's uh, get straight into it because I want to uh, finish this uh, particular mission. I was speaking to Dan today. Are you sure it's safe? And it looks like... Uh, all right. It looks like... Um, the reason I can't get into the Gollum chamber is because um, I need to build the suit, the size suit, so we'll see what happens. That was weird. Someone is attempting to access the encoder, Commander. We can't allow Exalt to hack that equipment or they're going to locate the transmitter. Sure. Nice. Out of the game. <coughs> aye, aye, Commander. Not good odds, but maybe. Okay, okay. Didn't kill him, but okay. Good to go. Their turn. Enemy here. Lots of guys to kill. just got interested in terms of strategy. Nice. Okay, I'll check it out. Whoops. So close, she's my healer. Whoopsie. Exalt's forces have almost cracked the encoder security, Commander. We have to get moving or they'll know exactly where to find the transmitter. Commander, 
Scans indicate additional contacts approaching Strike One's position. Hmm. Don't think I'm gonna do so well this time. Oh, their fog has lifted. So at least there's that. You could play with rockets. X ray neutralized. And practically set on fire. Dang, too bad she missed. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. Yeah, I see that. Target disabled. Only one more guy I gotta get. Guys can't even hit with 71% chance. What a bunch of baloney. There we go. Kill confirmed. You missed. Whoa. Bye. <coughs> That's the first time I've seen covering fire. Hm. Interesting idea. Location confirmed. Oh, yeah. All right, ready to go. Assault has additional reinforcements moving on strike one, Commander. Slowly moving. Gotcha. Just 
Overwatch it. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Good for me, then. Target down. I hate when everyone wastes their shots on one guy. That's okay. Nice. Ooh, promotion for Mesa. So two guys left. Really far away. One guy comes from behind. If I could redesign um, XCOM, I'd make that? it so that they would take their Overwatch in turns, and if someone hit somebody, everyone else would shoot the same guy. Oh, hey, Acid in Wonderland. Thanks for the follow. Thank you so much. <coughs> and I like your, uh, I like your uh, screen name. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was pretty anticlimactic uh, turn there. Keep things going for a bit here. Another dude that's gonna get shot at by everybody. Or missed by everybody, I guess. There we go. Definitely not a problem anymore. He was shot like a bazillion times. Can't believe anyone still had a shot to take. Of course, uh, rocket launcher woman is way wide as usual. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, shoot at him. Not bad. Not bad. Dude is dead now. Yeah. Alright. Let's let her reload. 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 And overwatch. There's maybe one guy left. But, uh... Do some reloads and some overwatches. And then I'll start looking for him. <coughs> hmm, I have some class break. I'll do one more overwatch, I guess. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to go Shut chasing up. after him. Alright, who is the closest? Let's see. You, I guess. Go over here somewhere. Target confirmed. On our way. There he is. Just freaking breaking windows for no reason. Oh, to take reaction shots. Well, he's a rocket launcher too, so it's only fitting that he would miss. Got a visual.
Moving out. Like that was the last of Exalt's forces in the That's some crazy explosion animation. So normally I would uh, end an episode here uh, and maybe keep playing a bit. Um, but you know, start a new episode for the people who watch this later on YouTube. However, right now I just kind of want to. Ooh, cool. I got where in the world. What is that one? Make certain of the new threat's location. Oh. <coughs> That's cool. Intel Where in the world is Carmen San Diego, I guess. Possible exalt facility locations. Uh, where do I find that stuff out? Covert Ops. We have enough intel to accuse a country of harboring the exalt base. Right, I'm not going to worry about this at the moment. I'm going to go to engineering and tell them I want to buy some Psy armor. So I can do some Gangnam style dancing. Pretend it's like three or four years ago. Alright. Gallop chamber. We have no soldier capability device. But what if we take where is she? Oh, she's in the gene lab. Alright, I guess. <coughs> I have to wait for now, but let's go ahead and upgrade these people. Love me some squad sight. Damn good ground. Battle scanner, I use a lot more than disabling shot. Alright. Love that. Love this. And this is good too. Alright, last one. Okay. Always lightning reflexes. Okay. Don't think I've ever used that one. All the more reason to give it a shot. Alright. We've got a new spaceship. Let's go to the hangar, see what's going on here. So we have two here, one there, one there, none in Asia. So you go to Asia. And now we go here. Gene mods are commander. Done. We're receiving a transmission from the Ooh, enemy within. Okay, soldiers have five mods in single player. Cool. Council. Coming on screen. Yes, what is it? Planet reduction scientists and other BS. Okay, not right at this exact moment. Uh, let's see. So, Ondonde, if I can take you out of your awesome armor and put you in a Psy armor. In the right hands. This suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. <laughs> okay. We've done it, Good. Commander. Dr. Volan is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. Goody, I goody recommend goody we jumps. get started immediately. This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards right, this whole time. let's wait till time. these guys come we back. We will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. Okay. Then let's skip this escort. Get these guys back from Psy training. Not now. Alright. Results. Alright. Don't give a darn. Let's go to the Gollop Chamber. Use the Ethereal device. Yep. 
We've seen this animation before, but I guess we have to be stuck watching it. Incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign. Last time it was Dan, I think that was this person. The alien commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave. All right, I've seen this video before. Let me check on my Corora upgrades over here. Having captured the device, it sacrificed itself to protect. An immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. The enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of. I think that the speech that she's giving now about uh, pushing ourselves so far and everything. I think it means a lot more in uh, Enemy Within. Because we've given them all these gene modifications and stuff like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the Temple Ship Assault for another time. And the reason for that is when I did it in the original game, Enemy Unknown, um, it was it was buggy. And uh, when I did a save, I ended up in a situation where um, I couldn't complete the, the level and I had to start again from scratch. Um, so I want to try and do it in one go. Uh, most of the um, internet comments say that you should try and do it in one go. That's the biggest chance you have of not running against any bugs. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I will... Uh, so, you know, it's not horribly late tonight in the time zone that I'm in. But I am trying not to uh, stay up... Uh, too late, uh, given that I have uh, a couple of uh, three-month-old twins, and so my wife uh, sometimes needs to wake me up uh, a little bit earlier than I would normally wake up for work in order to help take care of the kids. So I will start the Temple Assault uh, probably tomorrow, as long as I play uh, XCOM tomorrow. Um, if not, whenever's the next chance I get a chance to do XCOM. Um, I'm not sure what's the fastest I could beat it if I could do it in a half an hour, but uh, I'm pretty sure I could do it in an hour, given that I know what I'm up against. Um, although it's possible they've completely changed it when it comes to enemy within. Um, but uh, so worst case scenario, I might not attempt it till this weekend. I might play some other games till then. Um, in the meanwhile. I just want to remind you guys that uh, I'm playing for Extra Life, as you see on the bottom of my screen here, I'm playing for the kids. Um, my daughter in particular had a couple of surgeries at Johns Hopkins um, Children's Center, which is the hospital I'm playing for. As you saw in the opening video, unless you skip those, um, you know, it saved her life. Um, two times she had two different surgeries, and um, it's a possibility that my um, son uh, one of the twins, um, he might need to have heart surgery there. So it really means a lot to me if you um, donate. And um, and to make things fun, I am doing um, one push-up for every dollar that I get um, donated. So there's that. Um, what else? I guess that's it. If you're watching this live, um, you know, keep an eye on my YouTube channel. Um, I have... Um, I post everything to there um i'm doing like one episode a day so i don't um you know overload people um but i also do some photography stuff there's some photography stuff there and um some linux stuff there's some linux videos there some in the past some that are coming in the in the upcoming days um so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching and um, i'll see you next time
Um, bye.